last class we discussed about the function of latex like stuff like what are the operations performed on latex today in this class we will discuss about rapid turning points or rapid turning method of lead things of lead of lead of lead that class we discussed about principle of lead all of lead and function of lead that when we rotating the axis the cutting tool of of the cutting edge of the tool is led at perpendicular to the axis of lead meter Our piece is rotating. The other one is tool is fixed at at uh, one point at the cross slide. This is the working principle of lead machine. And today in this class, we discuss about Taper turning methods. Coming to taper turning methods, mainly they are by using palm tool and next swiveling compound rest method, taper turning attachment, and simultaneous longitudinal and cross sweeps. Coming to first one by using palm tool. Here I am showing a figure about taper turning by using palm tool. This method is used for small. Lens. This method is used for jobs of small lens. In this, the cutting edge. In this, the cutting edge is threaded. The in this, the cutting edge threaded with the ground at an angle required for the taper turning. And the tool. Here I am showing form tool. The tool. He is used for removing the material of workpiece. Feeding is given by hand mill. Okay. Properly, this method is used for small jobs like small lens. Here, by using form tool. I am showing with the arrow heads straight in straight cutting edge direction of feed. Alpha will be the half angle. The setting equation for form tool is nothing but we previously discussed about an alpha equal to capital D minus small d by 2L. Capital D is the outer diameter, small d is the inner diameter. L is the length, half length of the workpiece. In this, the tool is fed with perpendicular with the axis of lathe machine, exactly perpendicular. 
in this figure also i am showing palm tool is set at perpendicular directly perpendicular to the axis of the lathe machine okay next coming to swiveling or swivel by compound rest method in this the tabber turning the main principle of tabber turning by using rotating of work piece in this rotating of work piece fed by tool at an angle of axis of rotation in this the compound rest is equal to the exactly equal to the half of the length of tapper the tapper angle is set set by it is denoted by alpha exactly equals to half of the length of tapper compound rest is exactly equals to half of the length of tapper next feed is given by using hand wheel in the compound rest this method is swivel by compound rest method the formula for compound rest method is tan alpha equal to capital d minus small d by 2l here capital d is the large diameter small d is the small diameter l is the length half length of tapper alpha is the angle by using certain angle we are setting the compound rest for obtaining tapper turning operation next coming to third one tapper turning attachment here i am showing tapper turning attachment here in tapper turning attachment it have a frame it have a frame at the rear end of the lathe bed this uh, middle one is the lathe bed here i am showing lathe bed at the rear end of the lathe bed it have cross or frame here disengaging cross slide this uh, bolt is aligned with lead screw okay uh, by moving cross slide with lead screw and cross slide fit at certain angles then moving the cross slide at certain angles required for tapper turning then tapper turning is obtained here only in a tapper turning attachment we are arranging a frame here by moving cross slide and the cross slide is disengaging with the frame then automatically by moving cross slide feeding is given by using hand wheel then tapper turning is obtained by using tapper turning attachment this is the theory for the tapper turning attachment cross slide is moved in traverse direction okay okay here also i am showing the same statement here carriage is traversed during the feeding operation the cross slide bar follows the guide bar moving the predetermined angle okay i am setting an angle here required for tapper in this the cry the cross slide is following guide bar cross slide is moving in the path of guide bar it is not necessary to remove tapper turning attachment when straight this is the theory for tapper turning attachment next thread cutting attachment we already know that thread cutting is obtained by using manual hand wheel or using of modern lathes quick change gear box is here provided in which different ratios of the spindles and lead screws were threads were obtained in manual operations lathe internal and external threads are cut either with the help of thread tool that means for obtaining threading operation is internal and external threads we are using tools thread tools or with the help of tap and die respectively in modern lathes we are using quick change gear box for changing different ratios of the spindle this is the thread cutting attachment next coming to lathe accessories in lathe accessories they are divided into two classifications one is work holding devices and second one is obviously cutting tool holding devices 
coming to work holding devices we will discuss about supporting and driving devices they are namely lathe centers checks face plates mandrels steady and follower rests lathe dogs tie plates in tool holding device work holding devices means holding work means required work piece work holding devices uh, answer is name it excel work holding means work uh, that means work piece holding uh, devices accessories tool holding means cutting tool hold uh, holding devices means straight and offset tool holders threading tool holders boring bars correct type tool posts first i am discussing with work holding devices various work holding attachments such as three jaw checks collets centers can be held in the spindle spindle is middle in the section of head stock work is held in the lathe with the number of method between two centers okay the work piece is driven by device called a dog and coming to check there are two classification three jaw check and four jaw check next collet consists of tubular bushing with longitudinal slits collets are used to grasp and hold bar stock collets are used to hold bar stock collet of exact diameter is required to match any bar stock diameter here these are all the matters we will discuss in later next slides a face plate is device used to grasp parts with irregular shapes face plate is used to hold or grasp of irregular shapes not in regular shapes in that situation we are using a face plate here to hold or grasp things first of all we are discussing mandrels mandrels they are classified solid mandrel gang mandrel cone mandrel they are used to hold the work piece okay there is types of mandrels to hold work piece for turning operation these are used in many cases mostly in turning operation these mandrels are usually mounted between centers on lathe okay these are mounted on centers of lathe machines they are namely solid gang cone mandrels mandrels are nothing but only for holding purpose coming to lathe centers work to be turned between centers must have center hole drilled in each end okay provides bearing surface supports during cutting lathe centers are used to only providing a support during cutting operation most common have solid mode stopper shown here i am showing lathe centers here carried to adjust and lubricate occasionally these centers are used for only in cutting operations during cutting operations to additional support next coming to checks checks are mainly used for holding purpose these are all work holding devices checks are used for holding purpose in machining operation most commonly used lathe checks are commonly we are using three jaw and four in some operations collet checks are used mostly in labs we are using three jaw and four jaw checks here here i am showing three jaw check three jaw check coming to three jaw universal check mostly in, in lab industries they are used in small industries they are using three jaw universal checks Na name it itself universal means all industries using universal check it is used for holding the round and hexagonal works coming to three jaw check it is dependent check when we move one jaw here automatically the, the remaining two jaws move with corresponding first corresponding with first jaw that means when we move one jaw then automatically two remaining jaws are moved with corresponding to the first jaw 
the advantage of the universal scroll uh, scroll check is its ease of operation in centering works for concentrating tunnel that means trija check is used for universally because of it is not an independent check it is dependent check when we want to tight or when we want to fix any work work piece here we fix we can fix only one jaw automatically two jaws are fixed here for holding the work piece this is the advantages of three jaw universal check next coming to four jaw four jaw is independent check independent check independent means not depend on any other uh, jaws here when we want to move one jaw here another three jaws are not move because of four jaw is independent check they are moved independently used to hold round square hexagonal compared with three jaw check three jaw check is used for holding the round and hexagonal type uh, work pieces here four jaw independent check is used to hold round square hexagonal and irregular shaped work pieces has four jaws jaws can be reversed to hold work piece inside diameter this is the advantage of four jaw independent check here i am showing three jaw and four jaw independent checks in three jaw independent three jaw uh, no uh, sorry three jaw is not independent it is a dependent check three ja is dependent four ja is independent for holding cylindrical stock center coming to four ja check this is independent check generally has four jaws which are adjusted individually on the check face by means of adjusting screws screws are jaws here i am showing screws here in some industries in big lathes they are by jaws here we move the corresponding jaws by using wrenches next collet check collet check is used to hold small work pieces it is not suitable to hold the big work pieces or not suitable for heavy uh, work pieces magnetic check magnetic means these check is used for thin jobs can be held by means of magnetic check small jobs only thin jobs small jobs used to fix or attach by means of magnetic in this case we are using magnetic checks here also i am talking about three jaw check and four jaw check headstock spindles spindle is in cent in middle of center of the headstock check universal or in and independent check fitted to three types of headstock spindles one is threaded spindle nose tapered spindle nose and third one is the cam lock spindle nose coming to first one threaded spindle nose threaded spindle nose in middle center i am showing threaded spindle nose screws on in a clockwise direction that means spindle is fitted by using of threaded spindle by tightening of screw in clockwise direction spindle is fixed in second one tapered spindle nose tapered spindle nose is nothing but held by lock nut spindle is fitted by using of lock nut that tightens the chuck that one is the second one coming to cam lock spindle nose cam lock spindle nose held by tightening the cam locks using t wrench we want to fix the check first of all we, uh, we lock the cam lock spindle nose by using t wrench next collet check collet check is used for small jobs most accurate check Used for high precision works. High precision means without changing dimensions, 
lens breadth width etc spring collets available to hold round square or hexagon shaped work pieces okay this one is the figure for collet check special adapter is fitted into tapper of headstock spindle and the halo draw bar having internal thread inserted in the opposite end of headstock spindle it draws collet into tapered adapter causing collet to tighten on work piece here collet is shown in figure in this uh, section we are fixing the work piece okay it draws collet into tapered adapter this one is the tapered section collet by fixing the collet to tighten on work piece in this side we are fixing work piece by using collet this one is the collet check it consists of draw bar feeding is given by hand wheel okay next uh, under section is the carriage it have spindle nose cap next types of lathe dogs lathe dogs are uh, showing in figures here standard bent tail lathe dog most commonly used for round work pieces lathe dogs are nothing but these are giving additional support driven by stud in drive plate used in precision turning okay here i am showing lathe dogs here clamp lathe dog and clamp lathe dog these are used to hold variety of work pieces these are also lathe dogs are also work holding devices used for additional support of work holding device first of all in left side i am showing safety clamp with lathe dog in right side i am showing clamp lathe dog those two both sections are used for wide range than others okay next coming to tool holder devices up to now we are discussing work holding devices they are work piece holding devices coming to tool holding devices we are discussing about cutting tool holding devices first one i am discussing left hand offset tool holder in this i am showing left hand offset tool holder offset to the right one that means in left hand offset tool holder it will be in right side designed for machining work close to chuck it is in in the shape of designated by letter l left hand left hand offset so this is designated by letter l coming to right hand offset tool holder that will be offset to the left hand in right hand offset tool holder it is offset to the left hand designated by letter r okay it is uh, next slide coming to right hand offset it is offset to the left side designated by letter r okay in left hand offset tool holder it is designed for machining work close to chuck or face plate and cutting right to left that one is fixed and close to chuck left hand offset tool holder is close to chuck coming to right hand offset tool holder it is fixed at close to tail stock and cutting left to right that is that is the major difference between left hand and right hand offset tool holder next straight tool holder straight tool holder is used for it is designated by letter s because of straight straight tool holder it is designated by letter s used for taking cuts in either direction and for general machining operations for all general operations we are using straight tool holders in lab purposes laboratories industries some of uh, industries are preferring straight tool holders why because of it is in straight position all operations can be done by using straight tool holders for uh, operations like turning tapper turning 
facing part in groove in chamfering etc semi automatic lathes semi automatic lathes we will discuss in next class today in this class we are i concluded with straight tool holders in this class we completed the discussion of tapa turning arrangements or tapa turning methods namely swivel compound rest by palm tool tapa turning attachment thread cutting attachments next coming to lathe accessories like work holding devices and tool holding devices okay